my name is Sam from Sam the Book Dragon, and today I am finally doing the mid-year freakout tag, even though it is the end of August. I mean, if we just pretend like July and June don't exist, this is technically the middle of the year. Number one, best book you've read so far in 2016. Probably this book because Maggie Steve Otter is a magical unicorn with amazing writing powers. Wait, this isn't The Raven King. The Raven King by Maggie Steve Otter. She is an amazing writer, and this wrapped up the series wonderfully and gave me everything I needed. Number two, best sequel you've read so far in 2016. I really liked Mortal Heart by Robin Lefevers. Each of her books has such a unique character and such a unique love interest. It had been a while since I had read like an alternate history book, so I really enjoyed this, and I was missing this world because I really liked Grave Mercy. Grave Mercy is still my favorite, but this was a really good sequel, slash finale. Number three, new release you haven't read yet but want to. I'm gonna go with a book that I haven't really mentioned on my channel, which is My Lady Jane. Seems like a cool historical alternate history kind of thing. Number four, most anticipated release for the second half of the year. I'm going to go with one of my favorite authors, and that is Marie Lu, and she is coming out with The Midnight Star, which is the finale for the Young Elites trilogy. Both the Young Elites and the Rose Society had like this big finale scene, and they both were able to make me so excited for the next book. Number five, biggest disappointment. I'm going to go with a book, and disclaimer, I freaking love the first book. The second book, I was like, I, I don't know. And that will be P.S. I Love You by Jenny Han. I love To All the Boys I Loved Before. I think it is adorable. I just felt like To All the Boys I Loved Before could have been a great standalone. And I am actually going to buy the last book that she's going to release about Laura Jean forever. Forever Laura Jean or something? But To All the Boys I Loved Before, I don't like love triangles. I don't like a new romantic interest, especially if it's kind of like... You're not the person I grew to love in the first book, so why? I think it's cute still, but it did not live up to the expectations I had. Number six, biggest surprise, Lux Beginnings by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I had seen this book going around for a while, and I was like, okay, it's a paranormal alien romance, sounds like a new version of Twilight, but it surprised me. It's actually a really good action, and the aliens are actually really cool and not lame. So I was totally surprised to actually enjoy a paranormal romance because that's not my thing. Seven, favorite new author. Okay, favorite new author is going to be Jennifer L. Armentrout. I have been reading her Lux series, and then I also read a couple of her new adults. I just really enjoyed them. They're just fun <laughs> and good and heart-wrenching sometimes when they need to be. Number eight. Newest fictional crush. Um, this is really random, and it's going to be from Winter. It's going to be Eco's love interest, and that is Liam Kinney. I didn't actually read Stars Above, so I have no idea what his and his and Eco's interaction is like. But they're meet cute in the fight scene. I was just like, yes, you are cool, Liam Kinney. You are a good guy, and you are an awesome guard. And I like guys who can fight. Newest favorite character. I feel like she just deserves a mention because her name is freaking awesome and she disguises herself as a guy, so that's always a point in my book. And that is Arabella from Arabella of Mars. She is not meant to be a kick-ass protagonist. She acknowledges that she isn't, but she still is brave and awesome and cares about her family. And so she is going to be a new favorite character. Number 10, a book that made you cry. This isn't a book, but I just have to mention it because it is amazing, and I just fell in love with this movie. I was watching it on a plane ride from the Netherlands, and I, w I watched it about midway through the flight, and I was crying through the rest of the flight, just sobbing. And that is the movie Big Hero 6. <laughs> that movie is, like, now one of my favorite movies because it's so heartbreaking. Eleven, book that made you happy. A book that made me happy is Eleanor and Park, by Rainbow Owl. Let's talk about the fact that Park is Asian. And let's talk about the fact that she is not a skinny, perfect girl. They just have such an interesting story, and their diversity lends to that, and that makes me happy. Favorite book to film adaptation you saw? Okay, I don't actually tend to watch film adaptations of books. The only book to film adaptation I watched this year is The Martian. It was fun as a scientist to watch it. I've worked at JPL which is one of the laboratories that gets mentioned a lot. I think Matt Damon actually translated the voice of the protagonist quite well onto screen. 13. Favorite video you have done this year? I actually tend to really like my skits, so I'm just going to go with a contortionist guide to 
reading positions, or is it just called a guide to reading positions? Um, I feel like there aren't enough skits in the booktube world, so I would love to see more skits. Number 14. Most beautiful book you got this year. Kazuo Ishiguro's The Buried Giant. I wish you guys could like feel the paper. It's like this really cool textured paper that almost feels like fabric. And it's got this cool end paper. And it just feels so nice and textured. 15. What books do you need to read by the end of this year? So I am going to set a goal up for myself to read a third of my TBR. That sounds reasonable until you think about how many books that actually is and how little time I have for the rest of the year. And ah! But I'm definitely going to say finish up the series that I haven't read yet, so Lux Consequences and Lux Opposition. Um, I'm gonna finally read Last Sword. I want to start The Wrath and the Dawn. I want to finish up The Young Elites once, the, once Midnight Star comes out. I want to read Rebel Bell finally. I want to catch up on the Throne of Glass series. And is that enough books? No. I don't know. Probably. Okay, that is it. Goodbye for now.